There's fresh insight tonight, though, into why police call fish arcades havens for criminal activity. In April, North Carolina law enforcement agencies orchestrated a multi-county raid of four gaming arcades and two houses. For the last several hours, WCNC Charlotte Julia Kaufman has been sifting through newly obtained court documents on this bus. And Julia, interesting to hear from police and their perspective on this. What have you learned here? Yeah, Colin, in this 31 page warrant, detectives detail several scary incidents that led up to those raids, alleging people's lives were in danger several times while at these gaming arcades. On April 17th, police raided three fish arcades across the Charlotte area, alleging they ran illegal gambling operations. We're now learning a years long investigation led to the busts, arresting at least 11 people and filing 800 charges in Gaston and Mecklenburg counties. Detectives seized hundreds of gambling machines, thousands of dollars and at least two guns. They rammed the window on the left over there and then you hear like a dynamite blast. New details from this warrant show several threats, gunshots, and armed robberies happened at the City Arcade in Matthews. Detectives allege one of the arcade's security guards robbed a customer at gunpoint. The Nashar family allegedly runs these establishments. The warrant says two family members have lengthy criminal histories. Nina Nashar's record includes stealing, identity theft, and resisting arrest. Hassam Nashar was found guilty of paying two suspects to burn down a business, and he was involved in the federal Operation Smokescreen, which is tied to a Lebanese group the U.S. deems a terrorist organization. I've learned tonight many of Hassam's charges have been dismissed, but some of Nina's still stand. She has a hearing in Mecklenburg County next month, Colin. Sorry, appreciate that. Reporting there, Julia.